What's up, guys? DJ Hess here. I'm bringing you part two of my nukeathon. Ten tactical nukes on ten maps. Might actually end up being more than that, though. I'm hoping I can get one um, on just about every map. But as of right now, I have two on high rise. This is one of them. The other one is an almost double nuke. I, for some stupid reason, my AC-130 did not get me enough kills. Even though my Harrier Strike got five uh, five kills just from the the airstrike part. So kind of a bummer. I didn't get the double, but. Uh, it's actually a pretty good video though. I'll be posting that one at the same time so you can check out the other video because it's pretty uh, pretty epic. I believe that the team had a spawn trap really hard and I ended up breaking it kind of uh, kind of by myself just uh, picking off some of these guys that are that are rushing us so hard and ended up getting my Harriers and uh, and the AC-130 and the spawn flipped and luckily they didn't kill me and it was it was pretty awesome to get right at the end of the game but Hope you guys like these videos. If you if you guys are new to the channel, thank you for checking it out. And if you do like the videos, please be sure that you subscribe. Uh, and if you can, thumbs up or like like the videos. I always like that because it, it will spread the word a little bit about um, my channel. Currently, I'm at I think 180 subs, so this is pretty kick ass. Uh, I've I've grown about 80 subs in 11 days, so really really appreciate it. And uh, looking forward to bringing you guys some more good uh, content. Hopefully that you guys enjoy. In this uh, gameplay, I go, I go Russian pretty hard from the beginning. I put on my, my little tryhard uh, class with my Marathon and Lightweight and uh, Commando and UMP Silenced and the TAC Knife, of course. Uh, I love running this class when I'm getting noob tubed. I just, it, it feels good to just rush these guys and, and pick them off usually while they're reloading their noob tubes or whatever whatever works. Like this guy right here, uh, I think, yeah, he fails and then I, horrible aim, get killed. But... I decided to switch it up here uh, shortly, and you'll see that I'm using the Scar H uh, with Extended Mag, which is an excellent gun to use and uh, setup if you guys haven't done it. It's worth getting the Extended Mags on because the Scar has such a short clip. Uh, so, yeah, it's totally worth it. And then, um, secondary, I'm, now you can see I'm using uh, the, uh, the Javelin, and this has kind of become my favorite go-to class that people don't talk too much shit about because... Unlike uh, the noob tubes and stuff, the javelin takes a long time to use, and it's it's fairly skillful, I think. Um, I haven't gone on to YouTube and done too much research about where to shoot the javelin. I, that's, I guess, half the fun for me right now is just trying to figure out where I can uh, try to to make the uh, the shot happen to be able to get multiple kills. And a lot of times it ends up in, in fails, and I end up not looking above me and seeing that there's an, something up there, and I end up killing myself. But... You know, it's part of the fun. Um, but yeah, the the javelin is is has been a lot of fun, and, and you'll see. I think you'll see on my channel now. Um, if you haven't, you should go check it out. I have a six multi kill. It's my nuke fail uh, episode part two, and and it's ridiculous. I get a six kill uh, multi kill feed with one javelin. Got my harriers because I'm running hardline, and then I get a nuke fail. I I didn't get it again in my AC-130. I'm, I gotta work on using that thing. I, anybody has any tips on the AC-130? I, I think the problem is I end up aiming for people that are in buildings and it hits the roof and then they're safe inside. So if I, if I don't aim for the roof and, and aim on the ground, usually it will kill them. But just, I always, I always screw that up. And I also switch the guns to the wrong, like the big, the big round uh, burst or whatever. I always switch to the smaller one and think that I'm shooting the opposite one. It's just stupid, but uh, I need to practice on, on using that. Um, anyway, I, I, it was a nuke fail because the stupid noob tube got me, um, and a, a guy in last stand almost killed me too. So it was it was pretty horrible to get killed that way. And I was like, I think actually I was two or three kills away from my nuke, but still it was reasonable. I could have done it. It was team deathmatch, would have been kick ass, and um, probably uh, one of the more favorited nuke videos that have been out there. But whatever, you do it. I, I mean, it's whatever. I can't I can't really change the past. Uh, right now you can see that I get my AC-130. They have the Harrier, so I have to get into cover. Uh, I, if I'm sitting out there on that ledge, uh, you know, I'm going to get shot. So I decided to take some cover and then pull, pull off the AC-130. Uh, while I have you guys' attention, I guess I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, the celebrity run-ins, Jessica Alba, because uh, it's not too long of a story, and I think you guys will enjoy it. So uh, basically, uh, 2003 is the year that the movie called Honey came out, and Jessica Alba was starring in that movie. 
And um, I think it was just in theaters at that time. And I was at, I went to the Nike employee store. So I live in, in Oregon and uh, Oregon is, is where the home of Nike. So, I, you know, I live close to the head, headquarters and I have access to the employee store um, pretty, pretty frequently. So anyway, I was there on, on just some random day and um, I'm shopping through the sh store and I look over and there's a, a girl shopping around the store and she's unbelievably hot and she has these like kind of baggy kind of cargo-y sort of pants but they're baggy but uh, on the legs but her ass just popped in these these pants I still remember what they look like my wife actually has a pair of pants like that and it makes her ass shine every time she wears them as well but it, it just looked amazing and I, I you know at first I didn't go oh my god there's just Alba. I was like that girl looks like she's she's famous who is that and I asked somebody one of the staff members I'm like who is that I know she's famous and they're like that's Jessica Alba I was like, oh shit. I was like, no way. So this is right in the get 2003 camera phones just started coming out. I got, I had one, I, I was usually, usually I'm an early adopter. Had one of the first ones out uh, for T-Mobile, which is the company I was with. There's my nuke right there. Um, and, and come to find out, uh, I, I just walk up to her and I said, hey, you know what? People are not going to believe that I met you here. Uh, so is there any way I can take a picture of you or whatever on my phone? And she's like, yeah, no problem. She let me take a picture of her on my camera phone. And I had it, and she's like, "I have, I have a camera phone too," but, but I mean, it was just again, it would it seems silly now because every phone has them, but back then it was really rare, and it was a good opportunity. Nike has a policy though where you can't ask celebrities for their uh, pictures and stuff. But I wasn't an employee; I was just a guest, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna ask." Had the picture. I wish I still had it because it would make the story even more epic. She was super nice, shake my hand, and uh, I'll never, never forget those pants. Honey was a horrible movie, but she. And she's not a very good actress, but she's always a uh, top five in my book for women. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't, and enjoy. Thanks, guys.